proceed with maintenance flight and if everything goes well we will head back to our frigate. Don't start the engine yet. Let me go through our notes again. We perform a series of tests in order to verify that our bird is good to fly again. First we will switch on our battery to execute lights tests, wiper test, fire detector check, cyclic rudder and collective tests. Then we will proceed with engine start, hover and basic input check and after that we will gain altitude and move to the test area for safety reasons. It is located southwest of our position. There we will land, perform a speed run test, execute full high bank circle, gain altitude and reach 1500 feet and simulate rotation and land on the smoke designated area. Got it? Don't worry Captain, I will guide you during the whole test flight. Ok, wait for my call to start the testing. Ok, let's power up the battery of our chopper to start with some light tests. Before you switch the battery to on, set the AC power switch to AC phase, set the inverter to off, set the main generation switch to on, set the VM switch to ESS bus, check that non-ESS bus switch is set to normal and check if star generator is set to on. Captain, please set the RPM sound warning to off so that we can continue without any noise. Nice! Wow, that was loud. Ok, let's check our lights. Set the position lights to steady. Sergeant Evangelo will help us by performing a visual check. Good! Position lights at steady position. Everything looks good. Ok, Captain, turn position lights to flash. Position lights at flash position. Ok Captain, now let's turn the dome lights to green. Now turn the dome lights to white. Great, let's proceed. Let's check our wipers. Turn the wipers on Captain and let them operate for a few seconds. Okay, stop the wipers now and get them back to their initial position, turning the knob to park. Let's move on with the fire detector check. Okay, we will know for sure in case we are on fire. Nice. Let's move on with the cyclic tests. You will hold its movement for a few seconds until SA when to stop holding. Ok, let's start with the cyclic inputs. Move the cyclic forward. Nice, keep it like this, Captain. Ok, good. Now move the cyclic back. Ok, now move the cyclic to the right. Ok Captain, now move the cyclic to the left. Ok, good. Now let's check our rudder. Move the rudder to the left. Now move the rudder to the right position. So far so good Captain. Now raise the collective to the utmost position.
Everything looks fine, Captain. Let's continue with the next tests. Okay, start up the engine, Captain. I'm sure you know how to do that. Okay, RPMs are rising. Keep the throttle to full position. Once RPM reaches approximately 70%, set inverter main on and start a generator to stand by. Nice. Engines are running at full RPM. All systems are green. Press the fuel quantity test button to check our fuel. Okay, fuel indicator looks fine. Let's hover now. Take off and hover over our spot. Keep low altitude once we are airborne. Looking good, Captain. Let's hover for some seconds. Hold the chopper steady with heading 180. Well done, Captain. Let's head to the testing area. It's located southwest from our position and north of Kabuleti train station. It's the area with the two crossed runways. Getting close to the testing area. Check out for visual reference of the two crossed runways. The ground crew shall pop up green smoke. Land on the green smoke and wait for further instructions. In case you are wondering, the area is only used for test flights like this one.
Well done, nice landing. Okay, let's proceed to some speed tests. Take off and make a run over the runways. You can start your run from the runway threshold. Use the runways as reference points and remain within the exercise area. We should reach more than 100 knots at low altitude with forward cyclic.
Thank God, we made it back in one piece. Prepare for landing, Captain. Our operations, this is Pegasus 1-1 requesting landing clearance. Welcome back, Major. You are clear to land. Roger, Argo. Let's go, Captain. Try not to break our bird. Thank you. 